Learning Quadcopter 101 here, and today's shout out goes to Jaden Jackson Beyblade. Jaden was first to say first in one of my recent videos, and thus wins the shout out, so congratulations. Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here, and I got a neat review for you today. This is the QF009 SU35. What is the SU35? Well, it's a large. It's somewhat large <laughs> compared to the ones I've been reviewing recently. This one is kind of large. Um, it's th only 375 millimeter wingspan, but the length of this is 525 millimeters. So this is a good sized um, little airplane for beginner flyers. It is meant for beginner flyers. Now, it is advertised as four channel, which normally means in the RC aircraft field, throttle, elevator, rudder, and aileron control. But in this particular aircraft, what they, when they say uh, four channel, they mean throttle, aileron, elevator, and LED light control. Now this comes in like, uh, I think six different versions, this particular aircraft, and the versions differ in the uh, uh, lighting scene. There's even versions with light bars on the front edge of the leading edge of the wings. Um, the version that I got doesn't have the light bars, but it, um, the ones that does not have light bars still have LED lights in the tail section here. I'll try to demonstrate that to show you what these look like. Uh, but they light up really bright. And you can turn them off and turn them on. And there's also uh, two different modes where it's, they're blinking or on full time. So um, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I like the lights. So um, other things about it. We're back here in the back end here. Let's talk about it. It is powered by a 1025 brushed motor. Um, which means the motor is eventually going to fail. <laughs> but hopefully uh, you can get in there easily because uh, it's only held on by this little um, little screw set here. So I think uh, you can get in there to pop out that motor and change it if it does fail on you in the future. Now it is composed or manufactured of crash resistant EPP foam, which means this should uh, withstand um, crashes by beginner pilots, but I still recommend you fly in grassy fields <laughs> to keep your aircraft in one shape, um, in one piece. Also, the front end of this is, has a collapsible nose cone, so this is supposedly to absorb some shock. However, this one's real flimsy, <laughs> so I don't know how much shock that's going to actually absorb in a crash But that for that particular nose cone, but let's, hopefully it'll work. Okay, I mentioned the LEDs. Now it's powered by 3.7 volt, these are big batteries, 1,000 milliamp hour batteries, 3.7 volt, 1,000 milliamp hour batteries, let's put it that way so you can see it. Uh, in fact, uh, size is 85, 26, 57, which means 85 millimeters length, 26 millimeters width, and 5.7 millimeters thickness for this particular battery. But, you know, you can get, well, I bet you can get it with away with even using smaller size. You don't really need to use a 1,000 milliamp amper hour although this will give you the maximum flight time and let's talk about that maximum flight time they're predicting anywhere from 6 to 15 minutes depending on the how you fly it you know if you're flying general cruise you can get up to 15 minutes on this but uh, doing stunts and such and flying in full speed which well, I'll probably be doing my flights probably going to be closer to six minutes we'll find out when we get out into the field Okay, um, let's talk about the modes that you are available through this controller. Um, it has 6D, 3D mode, which means in 6D mode for beginner pilots, there's angle restrictions. And what that means is when you're, you know, um, in the default setting of this controller, um, the aircraft is fully stabilized and it has angle restrictions, meaning that the front, you, know, you cannot pitch it over or roll it over. It'll always stay, you know, with the top side of the aircraft pointed toward the sky in 6D mode. And additionally, if you get into trouble and do accidentally somehow get inverted, going to 6D mode will automatically, and to do this, you just make sure you're in 6D mode, and then let go of the sticks on the controller, and the aircraft will automatically right itself and level itself in flight. Again, that's a feature for beginner pilots. However, you can turn off the 6D mode and go into what they call 3D mode, which means there are no angle restrictions. If you get in trouble and let go of the sticks, you're in trouble. It's going to crash into the ground in 3D mode. Uh, but in 3D mode, that gives you the freedom to do stunts, rolls, and loops, and everything you can think of, um, while still being slightly stabilized for wind gusts. Okay, there is still some slight stabilization of the aircraft, but it will not automatically right itself when in, six, in 3D mode. 3D mode, I'm sorry, I keep saying 6D mode. Um, another thing that this aircraft can do, 
it has a stunt mode, an automatic stunt mode. They call it inverted fly. You press a button and the aircraft will automatically roll over and fly upside down. That's the first aircraft, uh, beginner's aircraft that I've seen that had that that has this feature. And that's why I was interested in flying this particular aircraft. And we're going to try to demonstrate that. I hope it works well because that'd be a cool feature to have. Now let's talk about the controller. The controller is supposed to have a range up to about 300 meters. I don't know if you'll be able to see this aircraft out of 300 meters. I don't recommend flying this aircraft out of 300 meters. But still, they say this controller can go out to 300 meters. Now let's go over some of the buttons on this. Well, first off, it's powered by four AA batteries from the dollar store that I got in there. Brand new. Brand new, so they should be good. Uh, but this button on the upper left shoulder is your 3D60 mode button. Um, if you, It's defaulted when you turn it on into uh, 6D mode which means this is automatically stabilized but if you want to go into 3D mode and do some stunts do a quick press of that button and then you can do uh, loops and rolls and I'll try to demonstrate that when we go in the field um, we have a rates button here you got beginner an expert rate and what this does is it increases the deflections on the control surfaces uh, when you go and press that button you can do um, stunts with the particular aircraft uh, they'll be much more snappier um, anything you know, uh, you know, give it a, a elevate or give it aileron control, and the aircraft will uh, react more rapidly when you press that rate button. Other buttons on this, we have LED control. Uh, this one here switches between flashing and steady on. This one turns the LEDs on or off. Uh, this particular button, you press that, and that's the invert button, and the aircraft will flip over. And this one they call the trim button, but I don't know how this is a trim button because these are your trim buttons over here. Um, they, that's all they do. They quick mention trimming, trimming control button, trimming center control button. So um, I'm not really sure if that recenters your trim inputs after you do them by pressing that, but we'll try to demonstrate that too when we go out into the field. Let's go over what you get in the box. You get the instruction manual in Chinese and English. You get the aircraft itself. Uh, you get a uh, two or one, two, or three um, of these 3.7 volt batteries. I recommend if you get this, get the for the three three batteries because these big ones are kind of hard to find. <laughs> so if the if they're reasonably priced at the higher option, get it. <laughs> okay, and you get a charger for those. You get a spare propeller for the aircraft. Um, it is just a pop on pop off propeller, so it's not hard to change. And you get a screwdriver for in, uh, installing the vertical stabilizers on the aircraft, and you get a set of uh, tiny uh, screws. Now, before we go in the field, I wanted to demonstrate one thing, folks, and to show you how these control surfaces work on this aircraft. Hold on, I pop a quick battery in this. Okay, I got a battery uh, installed on this, and there's one thing I want to show you, folks, is I didn't really show it to you, is this has an on-off switch. <laughs> I like on-off switches, so we're turning it on, and there are those bright LEDs in the back that I told you about. But uh, let's put it on the ground and turn on the controller. And this automatically binds to the aircraft, as you can see there. Now notice, on the controller, there is no left and right rudder control. I have no control of that at all. Okay, you can't move it right, left or right. You can only go up or down for the throttle, as you see there. But let's look at these control surfaces while we're in, in um, stabilized mode. Also, let me turn that light off. You can turn the light off by pressing this button here. And turn those LEDs off. But as you can see here, the controls on both the, these are called elevons, or as I like to refer to them, ailerators. <laughs> this is your uh, ailerons. Now, they are coordinated, okay, um, especially in turns. Let me put it down on the ground. I want to show you if I turn left or turn right, both of them, both of them uh, flip to uh, turn the aircraft. So this is your ma main means of uh, turning, again, through the ailerons only. So, okay. So that's the controls on this aircraft. Let's take it now out into the field and see how it flies. So hope you enjoy this flight again. Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here with the inaugural flight of the UF-009. It's a breezy day today, folks, but that's okay. This aircraft has stabilization, so it should be able to, to fight um, the buffeting and breeze. They're also cutting the grass here today, so there's going to be some noise while we're flying. So just uh, bear with me here on that. Okay, to start this up, we need to plug it in first and then turn it on. So hold on while I do that, folks. Okay, I'm going to turn it on by turning on the on switch, putting it on a flat level surface, and hoping it don't get blown over, and turning on the control switch, like so. And we are bound. 
So checking the surfaces, left, right, throttle, and we are in, we should be in 3D mode. Okay, so let's get it in the air. First thing we need to do is I'm going to move to a different spot. So, <laughs> so, okay, I decided to stay here even though that guy's cutting. He's getting further away from me with each pass there. So let's get this in the air. Okay, um, the wind's coming from that way. It is kind of breezy today, so folks, so bear with me here. So we're launching it. Okay, needs a little upward trim, but it's getting up there. Now again, there is no... Let's see, do we need trim? Yeah, we're going to need a little upward trim. Give it a little more power. Down, up, 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 up. There we go. Let's bring it and keep it close to us, actually. This is actually a nice little flyer here. Even now, it's really breezy, folks. Okay, it's really breezy here, folks. And I cut the power there, and it stalled. It is capable of stalling, as you see there. So keep that in mind. I was gliding it, and a gust hit it and tipped it. Let's get it back in the air again. Uh, wind's that way. Okay, I want to keep it close. Okay, so if we pull, turn the aileron and pull on the stick, it really can turn quickly. Come, oh, the wind's buffeting it big time. Coming around, coming around. And kind of get power. <laughs> that wind hit that, and it was flying backwards, folks. Oh, so there's only so much wind that it can take. But let's go over there and get it and launch it again. Okay, we've been having some major gusts here and it's been affecting the airplane. But let's see if we can get in the air again. Okay, throttle and push. The lights are on. There we go, coming around, going into that wind. Again, there is no, no rudder control. But I want to do that inverted flight. <laughs> Okay, inverted flight, I got confused there. Which way is up and which way is down? Let's try that again, turning off inverted flight. So, we're not inverted now, but I will try that again. It inverted itself. Actually, I'm gonna probably try 3D, 6D mode first before I go into that inverted flight again. Launching it up, and... Trying to stay in the air in this wind. There we go. Coming around the other way. Staying in the air is what I'm going to do. 3D. Uh, it just don't want to do a loop, but right? let's try it again. Try high rate. No loops. Nah, this can't do loops. Let's come around again, try that inverted mode. <laughs> that inverted mode, be careful with that folks. It was doing loops and rolls. So coming around again. So we're just gonna stay in the air <laughs> for now in this windy day. Because wind does affect it a bit. It's being buffeted big time today, folks. Trying to fight this wind. It's getting squirrely in its controls. Producing throttle and landing it. Since it landed over here, and we got the wind in my face right now, let's see if we can do an automatic takeoff from the ground. Try it. Nope, nope, oh, almost. <laughs> Did a little short hop there. But I was hearing that propeller dinging the ground, and I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that at all, so. We'll, we'll skip the automatic takeoff from the ground and get back in here. Throwing it. Get some power on it, folks. Okay, again, there's no rudder control. Just aileron and elevator, elevon, and there's simultaneous controls. Oh, it turns hard though. 
Okay, I hope this wind stays died down. Because <laughs> once it gets buffeted by big wind, it does, you know, there, there is a limit to what it could take. And today is the limit, I guess. Today is a limit day. I don't know, we're about 8 to 10 mile per hour wind with slight gusts. But I'm still... We get it up higher. Well, that's where the wind is when I go up higher. Maybe, maybe that's a bad idea. Let's stay down low. Sounds cool. Sounds real cool. Coming around, coming around. Now, don't try to combine the aileron and elevators at the same time. It's, it gets kind of a little screwy when you do that. Like that, see? Especially on a day like today. <laughs> Especially on a day like today. Again, there's only a limit that it can fly today. Let me get over here, away from that that area there. So, you have 008, and it flies upside down, but it gets, I lose orientation flying upside down in that thing, with this thing. Turns easier to the right turns for some reason. This is a left turn. Let's go up higher. <laughs> there it goes. Up higher where the wind is. But you can see it better up there when I go up there against the blue sky. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know if those uh, lights are shining through. You can see those lights on the tail end of it. They are bright. I see them in the daylight here. Turn it to the left. Coming around. I hope this is centered. <laughs> my camera on my head. Don't feel right. <laughs> there comes another wind gust. It's buffeted. I can see that coming this way. Going down wind. It's really moving. Coming around again. Left turn. So yeah, it flies good when there's when the wind isn't buffeting it. I'm going over there too far, probably. airplane. Let's try that 3D mode again. Not 3D. Uh, it, well, turn, 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 turn. I know it's just going to crash when I go invert it, but let's try it again. Invert it. <laughs> just go invert it. Don't try to control it while it's inverted. <laughs> You'll get confused. I did. Invert it. Invert it. <laughs> Let's do it lower. Invert it. Invert it. Invert it. Invert it. It does it real well. That inverted flight. And that's the battery, folks. Getting tired. So that's the flight of the QF008. We discovered late in the flight that... Um, it goes inverted, but if you can try to control it, you know, it's, I think the controls are reversed there and gets kind of confusing, especially if you're not used to flying inverted. Um, it works great if you turn it off and not turn it on again. Uh, turn the inverted off and on again and it'll works real great. So, cool little, cool airplane, folks. The QF009 from Banggood, I got this. So, hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101, signing out. Okay, Quadcopter 101 here, back again. Um, the wind is really picking up, folks, but I wanted to give it one last shot here with a fresh battery to show you that inverted flight mode over and over and over again. <laughs> oh, man, that wind is big, big time. I don't know if this is going to actually fly in this side, folks. Looks like the propeller's already spinning, and I don't haven't even gotten any throttle yet. Okay, here we go. so windy. Okay, inverted flight mode. Inverted flight mode. <laughs> uh, inverted flight mode.
mode, inverted flight mode. <laughs> Coming around again. Inverted flight mode, inverted flight mode. <laughs> Coming around. Inverted flight, stay inverted, 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 inverted. Flipping back again. Coming around. Get away from those trees. Invert it. We're going to stay inverted. Inverted, 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 inverted. We're upside down, folks. Turning left. I can fly now. Turning right. Turning right. Invert it, invert it. Invert it. And coming out of inverted. Coming around. Get it away from those trees over there. I don't think that people would appreciate me flying toward them like that. And they're on the roof of their house. Let's get way far away from that. Let's come way over here. Inverted. Slow inverted. Look at that thing. Look at that thing hovering up there. <laughs> Upside down. <laughs> That's cool. So yeah, this can do inverted flight very well. Just press a button. And press a button to uninvert it. Coming around again. Press a button. Look at that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I was too close to the ground. Oh, there goes one of those starlings. You don't like that one. <laughs> I just was flying a um, P-40 Warhawk here, and it was attacked by a pack of starlings. <laughs> it doesn't appear that they like this any better. So, <laughs> okay. I don't like to bother the wildlife unless they're... Uh, Ravens. <laughs> back, back out in the desert where I, where I used to live, I used to chase the ravens. But, but that's about it. Oh, and, and the winter geese. But that's about it. Am I forgetting any? <laughs> okay, coming around again. Invert it. Invert it. When you're inverted flight, be careful. Don't give it too much uh, input because it, it can get wonky on you. Like right now, whoa. Again, it's the wind. Invert it. Look at it just hovering. And into the ground again. So, pretty fun. Pretty fun airplanes. <laughs> Especially that inverted mode. Uh, we're going to continue flying because I'm having a blast with this inverted mode. Automatic inverted mode. Get some sand out of my gear. I got not sand. Grass in my gear. Now I... Grass is, grass is my gears. <laughs> okay, we'll come over here. Throttle, throttle up. Oh man, that wind is hard. It's a real hard wind this time. That wind's a 15 mile per hour gust. And no, it doesn't like that 15 mile per hour gust. Oh, okay, maybe we are going to call it quits here shortly, folks. I'll give it one more shot. One more shot. Well, I don't think we can give it one more shot. Oh no. Oh no! The nose. That crash resistant EPP foam <laughs> got crashed. Okay, but this can be fixed, you know, using glue, foam glue, um, and I will fix it. But this is easily repairable. So that is going to be the end of the flight of the QF008. Let's hold it together for you. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101. Signing out. Hi, Quadcopter 101 here again. Hey, if you want to get your own shout out in one of my future videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's real simple. Just go to my channel page and click on that subscribe. And also make sure to click that bell button right next to the subscribe button. That way you get notified when I release a brand new video immediately and give you a chance to get that first shout out. So give it a try, folks.